Hi guys, welcome back to the Green TMD in O-Gage. Well, the last video I stated, the next day, tomorrow, we'll paint the figures. Well, that never happened, did it? Lots of other things have happened in between at home here. I've had to work on the car, get a few jobs done on that. Um, an extra shift at work on the day that I was going to paint them, so I thought, well, that's fair enough. I'll do that and then it'll be cured nicely when I get back. But then other things overtook on that as well. So, what has happened with the layout? Physically nothing. I'm still waiting, frustratingly, on the postman to uh, deliver me some of the walling for the shed so that I can start finally constructing the shed. I have the plan in my head of how I'm going to support the roof during the construction phase. Um, the reason it needs a special sort of um, support will come into understanding as the build progresses. Um, the thing that has come into post, I've got some nice transfers from Steve Bell for my class 33's replacement for the 50 that I damaged when I was accidentally put masking tape on them and peeled them off when I was putting the name plates on the 50. And yep, numbers for the 09. Um, it's now going to be 09004, which is one that I used to be a part owner of in the day when it first got preserved and uh, the other thing that has arrived in the post is this rather nice little Lomac it came with a little Land Rover on it but that's been taken off because it's not sort of in keeping with the area here shunting around outside the PAD and working off for a trip working and I'm waiting I've ordered some Caterpillar tracked vehicles to sit on it instead a replacement. So that is where we're up to but today's video is the promised video of painting the figures. I'm not going to take you through every single stage. I'll do sort of one figure and do the rest off scene or speed it up or whatever just so you can see the process. So without further ado I will see you on the workbench and we'll get these figures finally at least the basic colours painted on the figures. Right, here we are on the bench. What have we got? So we've got the various figures, the sitting driver, the shunters, the blokes looking around. Um, I am a bit limited in colours in my drawer, so that's not too disastrous. I've got the red and the yellow for mixing to make various shades of orange. I've got a bit of Tamiya brown here. I use Matte 121 Humbrol for sort of a fleshy colour white for lightning, blacks for shoes and boots and bags and things, I've got a bit of a navy bluish sort of colour, another brown, number 70, rail blue from rail match which I can shade slightly and a dark grey so I'm a bit limited on what colour clothes people are going to have but it is where we are today. So first off, always thoroughly mix your paints. None of this has been done yet, so I'll be doing those off scene. And what I have here is a plastic tub lid from a takeaway container that I'm going to use as a palette for mixing shades and varying shades slightly. Now the way I go about a figure, and uh, we'll do this one here today, is uh, do it as if you're getting dressed, even. Butterfingers. Do it as if you're getting dressed. So I start with the skin, then the shirt, then the undershirt, then the top underneath, and then finish eventually with the jacket or whatever that is on the top. So and that is what we're going to be doing with this figure. And these ones I'll just do behind the scenes as we go along, and you'll be able to see those in the background. So we'll be painting this man here with his bardic lamp. So, first off, everything is primed, ready to go. Apparently these figures don't need priming to actually be painted, but I'm brush painting these, so I like a good dull finish for the paint to stick to, to see how we go. So, first off, mix the paint thoroughly. As you can see, Apart from the long hair that's already sticking in the jar. Don't know where that's come from. 
it hasn't been used in a very while so I'm going to mix that and I'll be back once we're done. I'm actually just going to first one. It doesn't have to be exact because this is the first so you've got around the back of the neck here, around the ear, around his hairline, under his chin. And the same on this side. Sorry, under his nose, no good general. You don't, you don't want to go too pink, he's, okay, he's slightly paler than I am, but he is obviously just a small figure, and this is the initial layer of paint that we can tone him up a bit later on. So he's all around the back, all good around there. This hand's in his pocket. I can't really see this hand very much, but it's under there, so we'll just pick him out in there. It's small. We can just, just about see his hand. So we'll take a bit of paint in there. It'll probably get painted over a later date by some other colour with a bit of over painting, but there we go. So that is the colour I use for a fleshy sort of tone. You, you know, yeah, it's slightly pale, but then it's the south of England, we don't have lots of sunshine, it's a bit rainy. <laughs> and he's not too pink, because you get some people, they'll just, it'll be a really pink shade and it just won't look right. So anyway, I'm going to paint the others and then we'll come back. So now we're on the matte white because a couple of these drivers are going to have white shirts on. So it's literally now we're going to start to be a little bit careful of where we apply and without great big magnifying glasses you can go away from him as much as you like but you don't want to be getting on him on his neck or chin where he hasn't got it a shirt on, so it's literally, there's not a lot to do in white but you just want to be doing just enough down the shirt So 
I can just, just slowly work up the layers. jeans on so and paint his trousers in the light blue as well don't forget these are just the base colors and some of this will highlight better once we give it a wash at a later stage once everything is all dried off person I am painting today I've basically got all the base colors on the other figures but I have sort of run out of time today I'm going to blend that a bit with a bit of the dark gray just a just to tone it slightly because it was looking too close to his jacket color so I'm just you're not going to see these anyway because this dry is going to be set in one of the logos. But it just gives a tonal difference. And it's just literally just blend a bit of blue and mix it together a bit and just wash it on. I think 
nothing too technical on it at this level. It's not like we're doing one twelfth scale people or anything like that. There's, a, there's only a limited amount that you need to do. Really. You can't go really go to town. There's some really brilliant models on the Model U website that have been painted beautifully, but I think. how I'm going to be viewing some of my figures. I don't necessarily think I need to do them as much as I'd like to be able to do them to that standard. I also want to be able to finish something and move on to the next job because I've still got that shed roof to build and that is sort of still an enormous project and the depot will change immensely when that happens. But there we go, so we have, you know, a bloke walking around in the yard, a bloke sat on a loco, driver in his old steam jacket reading the paper, shunter there. It's all basically the same. The colour scheme, unfortunately, for BR isn't the most exciting colour schemes of clothing, I don't think. But um, basically, this is, like I say, this is the main base colours. It's still not dry yet on this one, which is why it's so shiny, but my next job will be to add details, boots, bag, hair, colours and things like that. So this is basically the basic, basic colours of the people that are going to be standing on the depot. And you just literally get a load of paint, stir it together and see what shade you can come up with. So, although not necessarily a brilliant, <laughs> most exciting video, that is where we are at. So, hopefully with the next video, we'll pick out the details and they'll start to look more like people and uh, you may even be able to get a little bit of personality out of them. So, until next time, this is the what figure we've been painted. We say a goodbye, and see you next time. Enjoy your modelling. We hope you do. I know this, well, I'll say, no, this wasn't the most exciting video, watching paint dry. But, um, catch you next time. Stay safe. Like and subscribe if you want to. Comments in the comment section below.